Why don't you charge for seminars or groups? Well, there are many reasons why we do not charge for seminars or groups. All Mary and I really do is we are really just seminar presenters in a way. We also provide advice to groups of people and we do that usually in a group, like in some kind of seminar format. We also provide project advice to many of the God's Way of Love uh, learning centres, uh, which we also do for free. So we, we do all of those things for free, free of charge. The reason why we've decided to do it free of charge is because we feel quite strongly that if people appreciate what we do, then we'll have enough funds to live. If they don't appreciate what we do, um, then we won't have enough funds to live and we'll just go back to our old jobs. <laughs> we feel quite strongly that it should support itself if the world wants it. And this is one of the primary reasons why we feel strongly that we should not solicit funds or determine a price to come to one of our seminars. So a normal seminar pre presenter would say, you know, charge a few hundred dollars to come to a day's presentation. I know I've paid for quite a few in my life where I've paid for somebody to do a seminar and it's been quite a few hundred dollars. And in some cases I've been to some seminars that have cost quite a few thousand dollars. Um, and we've decided not to do that. And the primary reason why we've decided not to do that is because we believe very strongly that divine truth should be available for free and it should be available to the whole world, not just to people who can pay for it. What we hope to do is that the people who can afford to give us some funds finish up funding the things that we give to other people who cannot afford to give us any funds. And when I say people who cannot afford, I feel most people in the Western world can generally afford something. Whereas uh, we're, what we're starting to have happen now is that we're giving away quite a lot of things to other countries who are not part of the Western world, so-called Western world, people who have no funds whatsoever. And so what we do there is we buy disk drives for them or we buy DVDs depending on what they can, whether they have any machinery. We'll even buy the machinery for them to watch the DVD if they don't have it or give them enough funds to buy a computer. <laughs> or buy a computer for them, or, or buy a uh, TV for them, so that they can watch the DVDs even. And as long as they have it in English, or at the moment in English and Portuguese, which are the two languages that are currently translated into generally. And we hope that in time that will change as well with the, with the efforts of individuals. We hope to be able to give uh, a lot of this material away for free to people in the third world, uh, because we feel that they are just as deserving as any person in the Western world of all this material. But, but it does require that the people who have more funds available to them in their day-to-day day -day life support that in some way if we're going to be able to do that. We've found we've been able to do that quite, quite a lot recently. But uh, again, if we run, when, once we run out of funds, which we do on fairly occasion, you know, fairly regular basis lately, <laughs> um, then of course we can't really do much more and we just wait until the more funds come along and that's how we run our life pretty much. Mm.